If you've been praying for some posture relief lately, well, then this is a message from God. I'm about to show you a position you can use for relief if you've been spending a lot of time in this position, whether you've been working at home, in the office a lot, whatever else it may be. You can use all the postural support you want, a lumbar roll, get up and move it around is always a great thing, standing desk, so on and so forth, but we're spending a ton of time on the computer devices. We can build up a lot of tension in the front, and then we create a lot of stretching or pull in the back. So the back muscles feel like they're on constant tension, like if you're pulling your finger back and you feel that stretch there, you can kind of feel like that. So it's not an exercise, it's more of a relief position you can use to take a little micro break from your work day. So come on down, I'll show you. Reach! If you like this video and you've been watching our videos, I ask you to sub subscribe to our channel, give this a little bit of a like, hit that bell uh, to get notifications when we release new videos. If you're on Instagram, give us a little follow, a little double tappy. This is, here's a foam roller. I'm sure you've seen it before. And we're not going to traditionally foam roll through it. We're going to lie on it longitudinally in line with our spine. So I'm simply going to lie this way. So my tailbone is on this end and my head's on this side. Now you may have seen this before where you just lie here and you open up your arms. And that's awesome. But we're going to add a couple little details here to get a little more out of it. So the first one, the let us pray part, is kind of like if you've ever been to church and you know they say, let us pray. What you do is you start with your elbows bent and elbows by your side, and then you open up and let us pray. And then you simply start slowly dropping your arms down by your side, keeping those hands open, and it helps pull your shoulders open so you can feel a big stretch there. And you just let them hang. And if this is a little uncomfortable, you can still mess with your elbow position. You can bring your hands down a little bit or up a little bit. Find something that's comfortable but a good stretch. Now, a piece we can add on here gives you a little bit more as we slide the head off the edge. I'd start incrementally. So I'm gonna slide up just a little bit here. And first I'm gonna start in the suboccipital region, which is the muscles right underneath your skull. And so I'm gonna lie that right on the edge. For a lot of you, especially with upper neck tension or maybe headaches, um, this can be very, very relieving as that pressure on those muscles can help them sort of melt or relax. So hanging out here can be great. And then as this is comfortable, you wanna move a little further, you slide a little further towards your head and let the head drop down. You have a little bit of support from the end of the foam roller there. And you can even go a little further. And going all the way back like that, we achieve that full end range, what's called cervicothoracic or basically your neck extension. You're also getting the opening of the chest you're shortening those elongated back muscles to give them a little bit of relief. So if you're dealing with a lot of knots or tightness in those back muscles, this can very likely help. And just hang out here. Uh, a little extra tip too is then, if you're here and your back, low back is really arched, you may feel some of that tightness there. You might be feeling, huh, my back's kind of bothering me, my low back. All you need to do is bring that belt buckle toward the nose, flatten that back out to the foam roller, hold this position. It may feel a little awkward. It should feel a little awkward or tight because this is you're going to feel some tension in some areas. Hang out here. Focus on your breath. I'd recommend doing this for about at least 90 seconds if you can tolerate it. Um, otherwise, you can really hang out as long as you want. Get up. Move around a little bit, see how you feel. If you get some relief from this, this is something you can use to break up that work day. So instead of you know, pushing through for eight hours, you should be taking some breaks. Just getting up and moving around is helpful, but using this can be a little extra boost.